Welcome to Art with Janine Liza and a 20 minute tryout class. In this fun 20 minute tryout video, I'll be exploring the work of another famous artist, Vincent van Gogh, 1853 to 1890. To keep this activity within 20 minutes, I'm going to be painting only the sky in Van Gogh's Starry Night. Materials Mixed media paper taped to a board. A variety of supplies. A three quarter inch flat brush. A rough small brush. A size two round brush. A skewer or just a little stick that you might have with a point on it. Possibly a straw. We're just gathering a few tools in case they're needed. A popsicle stick and I also grabbed a plastic palette knife because of the nice sharp edge. These tools are just here in case we could use them to make certain marks. And I just grabbed a feather. Might be fun. Okay, and now we have our cleaning supplies which is the cups of water and a paper towel. For colors, I've chosen drops of different colors of acrylic. Now I have here a spoon and a kidney bean for size reference. So as you can see the orange is just a small drop, in fact it's almost the size of a sweet pea. The green is about half a teaspoon. As are yellow, brown and black. One and a half teaspoons in white and about four teaspoons in blue. This was a rough estimate of the amount of paint I needed but it did turn out to be enough for at least three students to do a painting of this size, so you can reduce it. I'm going to take some water on the three quarter inch flat brush now and paint it over the canvas. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to thin out the first coat of paint, which is going to be the yellow. While enjoying the process of creating this 20 minute piece, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Vincent van Gogh's life art and journey. After creating this circle and a little dot in the middle I'm going to cover the rest of the canvas in the yellow paint and give it a couple of seconds to dry. Vincent van Gogh was mostly self-taught, only starting an art career at the age of 27. Vincent van Gogh is well known for artworks such as Starry Night, Sunflowers and Self-Portraits. The white. I'm just dipping into it now. I am going to paint a swirly line like I'm just placing the curved lines that are supposed to represent the breeze and the movement of the clouds in the sky, just a sense of motion and intensity. Paint a big section here in the white. I'm going to put a little bit of white down here. After these white patches, I'm going to mix a little bit of white with some blue to make some light blue to paint some circles where the stars will be. Travelling, especially through the countryside, inspired some of Vincent's art. Vincent van Gogh had a unique style. It developed from wanting to paint the feeling of a scene or a subject, as well as communicating details. Vincent was capable of creating realistic works due to a diligent practice of drawing. However, Vincent's personal style of brushstroke tells a story of movement and feelings. This combination has left us with the unforgettable style that is Van Gogh. I will now paint a section at a time in blue. And while it's still wet, 
I will scrape out lines to reveal details using a variety of tools. I'm going to start with the popsicle stick and try to remember where those circles were. I can faintly see them that I placed. I want to scrape out the middle of the blue paint and there you see the yellow coming through. These are the stars that Van Gogh saw shining through a window and wanted to express how vibrant they are, the motion in the sky with the curved strokes and the bright moon. If you have younger students, instead of using a skewer for the little tiny lines that we're going to do next, you might want to just use the end of a paintbrush. While the paint's still wet, let's grab a skewer and scrape out some of those lovely curved lines around the star that help make it look like it's shining bright. I'm going to speed up some of the sections of the painting because you get the gist of it and this way the whole video overall doesn't take too long. Now let's try the end of a paintbrush for thicker marks. Some thicker curved lines around the stars. I'm doing this in sections so that I'm able to scrape out the lines in each section before the paint dries. Now I'm going to go over the curvy lines of the cloud and the swirl that expresses a lot of movement in this piece. While I'm doing this, I'm going to talk a little bit more about Vincent van Gogh. Having someone encourage you on the path that you're on when you're doing something you love is a wonderful feeling. Van Gogh's brother encouraged a journey of drawing and painting in Van Gogh. And from that encouragement, Van Gogh went on to do over 10 years worth of paintings and drawings. Many of them in watercolor and oil paint, amounting to around 2,100 pieces of artwork. While Vincent wasn't well known or making profit, a lot of time was invested in practicing skills, experiencing a variety of landscapes through travel and meeting other artists who inspired variety in paint colors and techniques. One of the interesting things about trying another artist's style of work is you kind of get a feeling for what they were trying to say with their artwork. Now I'm applying the blue paint to another area that I can have fun scraping out the lines and the shapes using the tools that I have at hand here. Now with the light blue dry underneath the darker blue, you're going to see the colors coming through much better. By using this scraping technique, I am doing something slightly differently than Van Gogh did. Vincent would have used thick brush strokes to create these lines, but we're creating a representation of his work in a very short period of time, and this is a fun way to do it. I will be adding a few thicker brush strokes later on. Here I can explore using different tools and just see which one gives me the marks that I'm looking for. Van Gogh's artwork expresses a journey. The artworks also tell more than what the eye could see, with the use of vibrant colours, thick brush strokes and intense complementary colour schemes.
Now to fill in the top corner, create the moon, add brightness to the stars and more motion in the sky. I also tried the feather. With a bit of brown and black, I'm going to paint the top of a tree that reaches all the way up to the stars. Adding just a bit of green here. I'm going to use the yellow now to paint the moon. I might switch brushes because this is the rough brush and I want a finer point on the brush. So I'll go to the size two round. And once I paint the moon, I will then make some lighter yellow using some white and yellow and paint that around the moon. Then add a touch of blue, try to blend a little bit and create the texture and the brush strokes similar to that in Van Gogh's painting. Now that I've done the blending of the yellow and blue around the moon, I'm going to add these thick brush strokes that Van Gogh loved to use. Using the shapes I've already placed as a guide and adding small blue and white curved strokes to express movement throughout the sky. Using the original painting as a guide, I will be able to see where to paint more of each color. Trying out this style also shows you the challenges you can face when using a thicker paint and trying to get certain brush strokes to go the way you want them to. The small lines in the sky are like an extension of the shapes in the sky they stretch out curved around those shapes. A little more about Vincent. Known as a post-impressionist artist, Van Gogh depicts light and fleeting moments of everyday life, sharing a personal interpretation of subjects using thick strokes, bold colors, and patterns to express complex emotions. I love the way this is turning out. However, this is just a 20 minute tryout class. Imagine what yours could look like in 40 minutes or longer.
Now I'm done with the small brush, I'm going to grab some of the tools at the side and scrape back in some of the yellow lines. This will help define some of the areas a little bit more and break up some of the thicker lines. This is also an opportunity to bring back some of the yellow if you feel you painted over it a little too much. Through the use of creativity, personal expression and style, Van Gogh has sent a message through generations, telling everyone that there is an outlet that speaks louder and longer than words. Vincent has shown us that artwork is timeless communication that can give a voice to the things that are deeper than words can express. Now to add that little spark of vibrant orange. and the blue cups have, the blue has the yellow and the yellow has the blue. That's funny. Let's remove the tape and take a look at this 20 minute Van Gogh tryout. Vincent motivates artists to leave their mark on the world of art. Imagine if Van Gogh had never picked up a brush so if you feel the bug to paint, don't waste any time, get to it. Practice, explore, get inspired, and show the world your inner artist. I hope you've enjoyed this class. I'll get busy making the next one. See you next time. Thank you for viewing and or trying out this class. For more classes like this one, please go to Art with Janine Liza on YouTube and subscribe.